Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top So you better back off and get lost, I'ma stay last day Hey guys, it's me Kimmy and I'm back with another video And today we are going to be doing best free YouTube apps So if you're trying to start your YouTube channel And you need some apps and you don't have no camera You on your phone and all the things I got you The second app I'm going to be suggesting For you know what, I'm all out Let me cover up a, me cover up a little bit for y'all but God, y'all family, I be comfortable. Y'all gonna see this bra strap though. The second app I would suggest for y'all is YouTube Studio. YouTube Studio is where you check your analytics. You can go in and you can edit your titles and your thumbnails and all these things without having to completely take down your video. You can also do editing if you're, you have it on PC. You can also edit through there. Um... You can download audio for your videos that's not copyrighted. You all your channel customizations and all the things like that. YouTube Studio is definitely needed. And it's nice to have on your phone too. So you have like your analytics and things like that at your fingertips. The next program is the editing program CapCut. CapCut is now free. They do have a paid version. But the free version is enough to get you doing what you need to do. So get the free version because if you are broke you like me. <laughs> So, CapCut is, like I said, it's your editing software. You, you can cut your videos. You can delete clips. You can double clips. You can speed up clips. You can add music. You can add transitions and all the things that you need to do in order to, um, like, edit your video. The next app that I'm going to be suggesting is Canva. You can, again, get a paid version, but there is a free version of Canva. You can do your YouTube headers. You can do your thumbnails. You can do your, decorate your profile pictures. You have all types of templates and everything on that app. And, like, who doesn't want a pretty YouTube channel? Who doesn't want, like, just the nice thing? People be making their intros and their outros on there. So, you can do that. And that's why a lot of people be like, I'm not going to pay for um, an intro or outro when I can just get a template off of Canva and a template off of whatever and make it. So, yeah, Canva got the template, y'all. That's, that's where you want to be. Um, The next app I'm going to suggest, I don't have it, but a lot of people swear by it. TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy. Um, you can research your analytics, your keywords, um, your SEO. And all the things I probably need that because I really do be needing to like check on my SEO, but like, or like boost my SEO real bad. But yeah, that's what a lot of people use. And usually when they, when people say they started using TubeBuddy, they started seeing, saying they videos got like significant more views and stuff like that. But I feel like you need the paid version. You can't just get the free version. There is a free version, but I don't feel like the free version be giving what it needs to give. I've downloaded the free version probably like three or four times and every time I just end up deleting it and not using it. So um I feel like you need the paid version because the paid version is the one that really give you all the SEO keywords, the um videos title suggestions and things like that chat gpt i use chat gpt all the time it's free i've been using it for hashtag suggestions i've been using it for title suggestions and stuff like that because sometimes i just don't know what to title my video it's not even about like ranking high in views for me sometimes i just be clueless as to what to name the video and chat gpt like i can literally just type in like video about abc and then it's going to give me like video name suggestions it probably give me like four or five and if i want more like i could just be like do you have any more but always always tell chat gpt thank you because ai is going to take over and you want me to remember that you was nice to them so be nice to chat gpt the next thing is uh vid iq vid iq is kind of like two buddy like i said you can do seo searches you can do uh keyword searches you can do title suggestions all the things that are going to increase the views increase the the um growth of your channel again i tried vidiq as well i ended up deleting it because i did not get the paid version i feel like tubebuddy and vidiq both 
the paid versions are better but they do have free versions that you can use that you can explore um to me i just like i said i just prefer the paid versions because um the the free versions wasn't getting it for me the next one i want to recommend is iMovie I, this one is just for Apple products like iPhone, iPad, iMac, Airbus, stuff like that. Because I think it's just an Apple thing, but it's an editing program. It's free. It usually comes on iPhones or like computers or whatever. It's free. And everybody that I know that uses this, it's easy to use. When I had a Mac, I used it. It wasn't hard to use. I use uh, Movavi now. You can get a free version, but I use the paid version. Um, but it was like a one-time payment. But I kind of want to like pay again because I want to upgrade to get like more stuff. But that's neither here or there. But like, yeah, it's like a non pay version. So, but I used to pay version. But um, back to iMovies. So that's what I'm talking about. Like, yeah, it comes on like, it comes on like already on your iPhone. It already comes on your iPad, your MacBook, and all of that. So like, you most people, most time you're not even gonna have to download it. It usually comes on there. And it's a good, it's a good, decent beginner editing program. I like it. Well, I'm not even going to say beginner because, like, there's a paid version of it as well. And I believe there is a paid version. I think there's a paid version. And it, it's always, the paid version is probably always better. Um, my, my favorite, my favorite, um, suggestion is Fonto. I'm a graphic designer. I love a good font. A good font is like, whew butter on toast yeah like because y'all it may it takes you from that to, ooh, uh, to, ooh, uh, to ah. like good fun is gonna make the picture every time so fonto that's p-h-o-n-t-o fonto you can download all the cute fonts you know that little bubble font with the little star in it like yeah the girls doing that and also if you're on a computer you can do the font.com you could also if your computer's strong enough to um Run it, you can do DaVinci Resolve, which that's you can get a free version of that. It's pretty good, really good actually. Um I was gonna say Photoshop for you for your things, but you can't really get that free. But um it's this thing called um GIMP. GIMP, you can get GIMP for free um to do your thumbnails. Um this is like for your computer. Um, even though that wasn't even what this video is about, this is just about phone apps, but that's all the phone apps I really have, so I just thought I'd th throw y'all a couple of computer things in there too. So, yeah, you guys, and GIMP is really good. GIMP is like, uh, um, uh, well, not like really good, but it's good. It's like a whole photo editing, like, program. So, like, if you have a computer, do GIMP. Um, and yeah, you guys, that's really all, um. Kimmy, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, hit the notification bell, ding, so you can't be notified with another video, and I'm out. Love you last. thanks for watching. Said I'll be back to hold you down, I don't wanna leave you, baby, 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 baby.